What's up everybody and welcome back to another Q&A video. I told you guys to send me questions on Instagram and Snapchat and you guys did. And if you're not following me by the way, you really should. Links are right here, bam bam. Go check them out and be sure to follow. Before we get into the questions, let's address the elephant in the room. Hey DJ Bar, did you move? Yes, yes I did move. Some of you guys did notice in my last couple videos that everything was out of my old apartment building. To make a long story short, here's what happened. The town that I lived at is going through a process called gentrification. That's the process whereby real estate developers and business interests take advantage of low prices and industrial chic to sell white people overpriced tapas without fixing the underlying problem of poverty. Basically what that is, is when developers find a shitty ass town like Asbury Park, which is where I used to live, and they see that the property values are low, they start to put a couple of nice coffee shops, a couple of nice restaurants to drive the property values up. They buy everything nice and cheap and then they sell super high. So that's what happened. They try to raise my rent by a crazy amount of money. So I said, no, f this. And I basically told my landlord to go f himself and I ended up leaving. And what's funny is that I was able to find a bigger place for less money than what they were asking for that little ass studio that I had. So I'm giving my old landlord Five out of five middle fingers out of five. All right, now that that little rant is out of the way, let's get right into your questions. If I don't get to your questions, by the way, I'm sorry, this video would be super long if I did get to everybody's questions. So I'm gonna try to answer them as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So let's get right into it. Let's start with Instagram. First question comes from Guy on Main Street, Jonah George, what's going on, man? His question is, how do you get booked at clubs? This is a question that I get asked a lot and there's no real right answer to this, but uh, here are a couple things that you could do to get booked at clubs. First thing that you have to do is you have to create a following because I can't stress this enough. Clubs do not care how good of a DJ you are. So you could be the best DJ in the world, but if you can't bring nobody into the club, they don't care. All they care about is how many people you can bring into that place because that's how they make their money. So my advice for you guys is to start creating a following. Get on social media and try to build a mass following. Grow that number as much as you can. Post mixes on social media and be sure to share them. You gotta grow your name and your brand. I can't stress that enough. That's the only way you're gonna get bookings. That's why I struggle with bookings. That's why everybody struggles with bookings because the clubs only care about how many people you can bring into the building. Another tip is just ask. Just go to a club and just ask. Talk to the promoters, talk to the owners, and tell them, hey, I'm a DJ, and do you think I could spend a night? The main question that they're gonna ask you though is can you bring people in? If you wanna work at clubs, you're gonna have to do a lot of ass kissing and that's just the truth. You have to do ass kissing if you wanna work at clubs. That's how they work. They only work if you know somebody or if you got a big following. Those are the only ways you're gonna get bookings at clubs. It doesn't matter how good you are. So those are my two cents on that. When am I coming to California, LA? Um, to answer your question, I'm coming to California next summer. I'm gonna be there for VidCon. So. Pack your bags. I'm gonna be at next year's VidCon. I'm making it a priority to go to VidCon next year and I hope to meet some of you guys at VidCon next year. 2017, I will be at VidCon. Hashtag DJ Bar at VidCon. <laughs> What's the furthest you've ever traveled for a gig? Um, I only work here in the tri-state area, so I haven't traveled very far. I want to do that. Hopefully next year I can travel. So if you guys want to book me, if you guys run a nightclub or anything like that and you want to book me, it'd be really cool for me to fly out there, vlog it, and DJ at some of uh, the other states that are around. So if you guys can get me a booking, let me know. How many songs do you have? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't really know how many songs I have. I want to say I have close to 100,000 audio files. So that doesn't mean that they're all songs. Some of those are repeats and some of those are edits. Some of those are remixes and some of them are sound effects. So it's really tough to give you an answer because I don't know off the top of my head how many songs I have. But as far as audio files, there's about 80,000 to 100,000 audio files that I have. So I have a lot of music. I am in need of a DJ set. I am looking for something pretty advanced. What should I buy? By the way, I don't really care about the pricing. Sounds like this guy's balling. Um, Pioneer all the way, Pioneer and JBL. So if you're looking to invest money, buy the PRXs uh, by JBL. Those are the speakers that I can recommend. 
And as far as mixers, you can go with the 2000s, the one that I use, and a DJM 900. That's one step up from the 850 that I have. How do you overcome using the mic? Um, I think his question is, how do you get over the fear of talking on the mic? This is a problem that I had when I first started out DJing. I used to be really scared to talk on the mic, but there's only really one way to get over that and you're just gonna have to do it. People don't really care about you. Like I know you think that when you're the DJ, everybody's watching you and all eyes are on you, but to be honest, nobody really cares about you. They care nothing about you. They just wanna have a good time. So if you're playing good music and you're getting them dancing, that's all they care about. If you're messing up talking on the mic, it's not really a big issue unless you're doing like a crazy wedding that you have to do a crazy introduction, but you won't be doing that until you're prepared. A good tip is to watch game show hosts. Listen to how those guys host and interact with the crowd, interact with the contestants. It's a great way to learn. That's what I did when I first started out DJing. I used to watch like game show hosts and then I would implement some of the things that they said onto my MC skills. So. Go watch some game shows and implement that. Also, when you're practicing at home, you're mixing, be sure to grab that microphone and say what's happening, everybody. You know, <laughs> say everybody put your hands up and things like that. When you're at home practicing, be sure to grab that microphone and just practice some of the things that you wanna say. So always practice, practice, practice. You're only gonna get better and you're gonna get over your fear as you do it more and more. So just do it. Do it. Just do it. What these are controls do you recommend for beginners? I don't really have a recommendation for a controller for beginners. You really just need to buy something and start practicing how to DJ, start practicing the basics. I don't know how much you have saved up, but whatever money you have, invest that towards any, any controller. My best recommendation as far as brand is the Pioneer brands. Those are the standard, but you really got to get on it right now. So it doesn't matter. Just get your hands on something and start practicing because every moment you go without practicing is a moment wasted. So get something in front of you right now. So go out and buy whatever you can afford. What is the hardest thing about being a DJ? The hardest thing about being a DJ, and I'm sure all of you guys can agree, is dealing with all the poom poom you get. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. The hardest thing about being a DJ, honestly, the hardest thing is getting booked. Uh, also, scratching is really hard, but getting actual gigs is the hardest thing about being a DJ. When did I start DJing? I started DJing in 2009. October of 2009 was when I DJed my first party. So I've been DJing for what? Six, seven years almost. So it's been a while. All right, that's gonna do it for the Q&A. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before I leave though, I want to share with you guys a video from my old apartment that I shot right before I left. It was um, basically a room tour that I did before I left. One of the cool things about vlogging is that I'll be able to look back at these videos and say that's what it was like. So enjoy this quick video of me showing you guys my old studio. I will be doing a new room tour or studio tour. This isn't a studio though, this is actually a one bedroom place. So. I will be doing one of that in the future, so be sure to stay subscribed. So let me show you the old spot. This is it, apartment number three. What's up guys? Welcome to my place. Let me show you around this place. So, it's basically a studio apartment, so it's nothing crazy. That's Linda, by the way. Say what's up. What's up? She's helping me with the move. We got the boxes over there. But this is it, this was my first place after I moved out of my parents' house and this is the last week that I'm gonna be here. I've been here for the last four years. I moved out when I was 20. So, take a look. This is my bedroom and over here is my living room and this is more of my bedroom and over here is my studio. So many great mixes came from this one spot right here. That's where I record everything. Got a lot of pictures over here, black and white, black and white, like my soul. Isn't that right, Linda? And over here, on this side of the room, we have my desk, my office, I call it. That's where I do all my paperwork, all my DJ contracts are there, all my bills and stuff, that's paid over there. I do a lot of work over there. I do flyers, I do video editing, right on this little spot right here. And that's it, nothing more. My kitchen is over here. It's on this side by Linda. What's up, Linda? <laughs> this is my kitchen. It's nothing crazy. I don't even usually eat here, but I keep things that we've never used. I've never used any of this stuff, except the coffee mugs. I drink a lot of coffee. And my refrigerator, you ready? We got a lot of rosé. What? 
<laughs> we got Red Bull, of course, water, and Pepsi. That's it. And over here, if you go through this, is a bunch of closet space, which I don't have in my new place, but you guys will see that when I do a room tour of my new place. We got a closet here. Just a lot of blankets, boxes, I keep all my boxes, some cables and stuff for DJing, my old DJ mixer, it's an American audio DJ mixer, and then we have a closet on my right hand side, more storage, my traveling stuff, shoes, all my boxes, uh, I keep my clothes in that cabinet, some old video games I never play anymore, and my suits are also in this closet. And then in the last and final closet, it's just my regular clothes. Bunch of Calvin Klein stuff. I have a friend who works there, so she hooks me up. And all the way in the back is my bathroom. This is where we do most of my thinking in the bathroom. Nothing too crazy. See it? Pretty standard stuff. And that's it. That's my little studio apartment. And this is it. This is going to be my last week here. Are you sad? <laughs> oh, also, the only thing that's not going to come with me is this little thing that I bought when I moved out of my parents' house. Family, like branches on a tree, we all grow in different directions, yet our roots remain one. I love that quote. But yes, this is it. Adios. Take care and have a good life. And that's it. That was my old place. That's what it looked like. Um, I'm really going to miss that place, but I had to leave. And I think it's good. I think it's good for a nice new fresh start. Now, before I leave, some of you guys might have noticed that um, there's a really big gap between the Vegas vlogs and the last couple of vlogs that I've been uploading lately. And it's not that I took days off. It's just that um, I was really, really, really busy in the month of July. And I was trying to vlog, but something kept happening. If it wasn't one thing, it was another. Now, I did do a gig in between that. And I want to share that with you guys because I did grab the footage. I just never uploaded it because I was falling really behind on my vlogs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a little mini gig vlog inside of this Q&A video. And that's how I'm going to end the video. So enjoy this special edition mini gig vlog that I did. Um, this was from about three weeks back. So enjoy and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace out! All right. I am at the spot. Tonight, I'm going to be opening up for a Mexican band. Remember a couple of months back uh, when I did that one gig vlog, I told you guys that every now and then they called me up to do these Mexican events. Um, I'm not really sure what, uh, what to expect. The weather has been terrible today and I don't know. They're saying it's a big band and like big band as in like they can pull a lot of people and hopefully that's the case this should be an interesting night the band people are setting up the engineers getting everything ready the sound ready this is what we use we use the cdj the pioneer 2000 and the cdj's 2000 this this mixer is so much of an overkill <laughs> That is it. I want to thank you guys for watching this vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for sharing this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the love and support you guys always give me. It means so much to me. Thank you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself on this one. Be sure to tap that thumbs up button before you leave. 
and be sure to leave a comment let me know what you thought of this video let me know if you're excited for gig logs that are coming up let me know what you think about the move let me know anything down in the comment section i always really appreciate your comments and i always try to respond to everybody that's it i'm gonna head home i had a blast djing that party uh mexican music is not my forte but i always enjoy it so i'm gonna give this one uh three and a half cartoon dj bars out of five it was it was a pretty good night i had fun all right thank you so much guys and i'll catch you in my next one peace